Hey everybody, Nick Powell's here. I'm here with Robert from Famous Toastery. Uh, Robert, a category I think has been born in our conversations, and this is going to be the family franchise. Here's, here's what I'm thinking, that with the access to information that us as human beings have, we now understand or have a different type of grip on life being short. Mm -hmm. So whether that's our careers and retiring a little bit earlier, um, or realizing that we have to put more time to our families, yeah. here you're building a new brand. And yes, you're building it in, in the better breakfast category, but let's talk about the family category because the flexibility of ours, you might be on to a wave of new businesses. It might not just be in better breakfast, but this might be a whole new category. Tell me about this flexibility component and what that could mean to you in your life, especially as you're evaluating life being short and spending more time with your family. How, how, how awesome is this brand as it could relate to that type of entrepreneur who, who really gets that? Right. Well, it's interesting. You, you, you hear these people talk that you never on your deathbed said, I wish I worked more. Right? So you have this, uh, this idea of a 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. concept. And ironically, a lot of people are drawn to that. Like They're like, I love the hours. So they have the hours down, and then they like the food, they like the, they like the, the service. But you are home by 4 o'clock. You are not dealing with nighttime business. I mean, look, the, 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 the conversation is always nothing good happens in the restaurant business after 8 o'clock at night, right? Or some would say after 12 o'clock at night. But... It's seven to three. It's fast paced, and you—it's like working almost like, almost like a nine to five, but it's seven to three, and it could be anything. It could be you know taco business, but you are home and not dealing with what most people don't like about the restaurant business is all day, all night. So, has there ever been another type of business like I, I, stock trading? I guess that when the markets close, you go home. But well, no, you have. Oh no, when you when you have to, you need to research before you, you have to get there very early. You have to research, read the paper, see what's going on. When you leave, you have to settle your trades. You have to work with the back office, the middle office. No, that can be a, that can be a 12, 13-hour day. Same thing in sales. If you're in sales, you're on planes all the time. You know, pharmaceutical salesmen, um, uh, people that are journalists. We have we have a journalist that just signed on to, to do a store, and they're traveling. Now they get to stay home, work with their family, eventually have their kids get involved. We have a franchisee that bought in just so that he can leave his kids something. He's an already successful franchise, uh, franchisee, um, and he wants something for his kid to have when he gets older because it's also, a, again, lifestyle brand, home by three, and that's never going to change. Our, our concept is not going to one day go, hey, we're going to be closing at 10 o'clock at night. It just doesn't fit what we're doing, and you're building it for, you build the restaurant for seven to three for all reasons, execution and lifestyle. And that's the, that's the whole idea. No one is ever going to wish that they worked more. So, I mean, you've had the, the jobs that it's 60, 70, 80 hour weeks. Is it, does it surprise you that it took this long for a restaurant concept to say, wait a second, we'll do limited hours? Because in, in breakfast category, you take the, the Waffle House type concepts that are 24 seven. That's, that's how this was created. Is, does it surprise you that it took you took not just you, but just the world so long to say, let, let's embrace a, a different type of uh, work lifestyle. Yeah, you do feel a little, I mean, truthfully, you do feel a little stupid when you're like, oh, what, we should have done this 30 years ago, right? I've been to these one-off restaurants that close, and I always should say, even before we were, before we started franchising, but while we were still doing this, going, hey, that's a great idea. And I'd say, wait a minute, that's what we're doing. So it's part of the blueprint of scaling a business and, and, and scaling with franchisees, because you're giving them something that's pretty exciting. I mean, most people talk about, when we usually sit with them, talk about, wow, I love the hours. I love the fact that you're home. I love the fact that you can get, be with your family, see your friends, go to a movie, not have to worry about being there Saturday night. It's a big deal. Um, and even for myself, who doesn't physically work in the restaurants, at 3 o'clock, that part of the business closes, right? Maybe something else opens for me personally, but that side is closed, and it's huge. Even from a mental standpoint, you turn off. Which, in life, when you have kids and you're looking at your phone all the time, or you're looking at the, the you know the market or sales trades, whatever, you know at three you're off, you're done. It's a it's a living organism for eight hours, and then you close the door, you take a breath, and you go home, which is a huge deal. Better breakfast, better family, better business. Looks like things are changing. If you're interested in this, go to famoustoastery.1851franchise.com. Thanks, Robert.